All right. Okay, it's me <laughs> from the front. <laughs> uh, I just want to get something out of the way really quickly, uh, so you guys don't have like a revelation to interrupt me later. Uh, I am the guy who ran out on the field at the Toronto Argonauts game. I am the guy who got hit by the player and then got beat up by the police and arrested. So, if you guys want an autograph, I can do it after at the bar, okay? <laughs> oh boy, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, also, just so you guys know, I feel like I should tell you, uh, hey, what's up, man? Um, I'm recording the set right now. Uh, a lot of comics like to record their sets so they can go back and learn from their jokes and try and get better. Unfortunately, the only thing I've learned so far is that my voice doesn't match my body. <laughs> like, at all. Like, people look at me and they're like, hey, stocky guy, facial hair, probably sounds like a man. <laughs> and then I open my mouth and I get whatever the fuck this is, you know? <laughs> oh, it's tough. Like, this is not a sexy voice. Like, I don't have a sexy voice. Sound like a teenage Mickey Mouse. <laughs> boy, oh boy, you sure do have a swell vagina, huh? <laughs> Not just if the sex is normal, you know? Like, what if I get, like, a freak? Like, a degenerate or something, you know? It's like, who's your daddy, bitch? That's why it's Mickey, huh? Get those speakers out of there, huh? Oh. Like, uh, but I used to smoke a lot, too, so I was like, okay, that'll probably fix my voice, you know? It didn't. I just got really wheezy. <laughs> you know, so it's like, uh, wheezy plus asthma tax plus high pitch voice does not equal orgasm. <laughs> Basically just turns it to sandpaper. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty lucky. I'm a pretty lucky guy. Uh, I do have a girlfriend though, actually. Believe it or not. I do have a girlfriend. Uh, and I feel so bad for her because I'm me. Uh, but the, one of the things I feel bad for is I've gained so much weight recently. Uh, I think, uh, what do the bros call it? The COVID-19? Yeah, I gained that like five times. Uh, I feel bad, but you know what? I was worried a little bit. I'm not so worried about that because I, can know, I know I can just go on the internet, you know, look up a diet like the Atkins diet or something, you know. Uh, but I recently stumbled across the old Subway sandwich diet. You guys remember that? <laughs> yeah, so if you don't remember, basically what it says is, if you have a glass of water, exercise regularly, and eat a Subway sandwich every day, you will become a pedophile. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. Remember to eat a sandwich and become a pedophile. <laughs> that's all right. We don't have to worry about pedophiles like you guys, I don't know, because we're so fucking old to them, you know? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, guys, I kind of miss being a kid. <laughs> miss the thrill, you know? Just going to a Subway sandwich shop and be like, is today the day? Is Jared gonna get me? <laughs> oh, good God. Uh, but yeah, no, I actually do have a girlfriend, believe it or not. Um, she's really cool, she's great. She's Maltese. Like, she's born in Canada, but she's got like Maltese parents, I guess is what you'd say. Uh, so she looks very exotic, she looks very cool. Uh, but one of her problems is a lot of people will go up to her and they'll be like, hey, where are you from? Uh, and she'll say, Canada. And they'll be like, yeah, but where are you from, really? You know? And then she snaps their neck, because fuck you. Right? Like, like if you if somebody, if somebody you ask somebody where they're from, that's where they're from when they answer. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking annoying. So her sister-in-law is Iranian. Uh, and we're having dinner together, and they're chatting about it. Like, oh, man, like, why do people got to ask so many questions? That's what they sound like. It's why they got to ask so many questions, you know? Why do I got to snap so many necks, you know? And they're, like, getting so passionate about it. And I was like, oh, God. Like, I started feeling it, because I was like, yeah, I totally understand. Because I'm getting pretty tired of people thinking I'm from Bowmanville all the time. You know? I'm so clearly from Port Perry. You know? That's right. I'm from Port Perry. Sue me. Ah uh, oh, man, Port Perry was shitty growing up. I, uh, it was so annoying. So my friends used to call me a pussy when I was a kid because I preferred soft shell tacos to hard shell tacos. <laughs> like, like, what's the logic there? It's like, oh, my dick is just always soft. <laughs> Fucking annoying. <laughs> this guy gets it. I think he, I get it. Yeah, he gets it. I have, I have ED too, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's interesting though, like who you end up growing up with, you know, and like who sticks around. Cause like I got this friend who's like, uh, he's like a poor Perry guy, I guess, but he's like fucking like, he's that friend, you know? He's always gotta be so cool, you know? He's just like a piece of shit, right? So he's driving through my neighborhood and he texts me, he's like, hey man, I'm in your neighborhood, maybe I'll stop by. I was like, cool, dude. Like, I love friendship. Like, come on by. He's like, sick, man. Just got to hook up with this super hot chick first. I was like, cool. She sounds super hot. He's like, dude, so hot. Like, so many O's. He's like, so hot. Her dad played in the CFL. I was like, seems like a pretty long way of telling me you want to fuck somebody's dad. <laughs> 
Which is a man. He's so fucking annoying. Like we were, we were listening to his phone, like the music on his phone, uh, and Katy Perry came on. Uh, and so it pops on, he's like, oh fuck, and like puts on like Audio Slave or something. And he's like, oh, I don't actually listen to Katy Perry. Uh, you know, I just like to listen to it like in top 40, just so I know what the chicks are listening to, right? Like, yeah, that's the only reason I listen to it, it's research. I was like, cool, dude. Like, like, I'm pretty open. I love Katy Perry. I don't give a shit who knows it, you know? But he's like, yeah, no, you gotta know what the girls are listening to so you can fuck them, right? And I was like, okay. So he's obviously very gay. Like, we like he's, he's, he's a closet homosexual, for sure. Uh, and I feel bad for him, you know? Because I guess it's like societal homophobia that's just like made him not live his truth. And I feel really bad for him, right? So I've been thinking about it. Uh, and I actually think I might have created a solution for homophobia. I have, just like, follow me on this one, okay? I was thinking, like, we'll just like cater to straight guys to make them like less homophobic. So it'd be like gay porn for straight guys. You know what I mean? So it'd be like gay porn made by straight guys for straight guys. <laughs> What's better than pounding a butthole? Pounding your butt's hole, you know? Like, like, I don't know what, the, what it would be like, though. I guess uh, I guess it would just be like a very, very heteronormative scenarios. Like, like, oh, dude, like, sucks the Leafs lost. He's like, I know. <laughs> but you know what wouldn't suck? What's that, Chad? <laughs> if we just explored our inner feelings and just really lived our true selves and we fucking fuck. <laughs> Dude, that'd be sick, you know? Like, they'd just be watching at home and be like, dude, that would be sick, actually, you know? <laughs> so we just have to be like really brody guys, you know? And then, like, I unfortunately couldn't be in the video. I just, like, can't. I want to help, I do. Maybe they could direct or something, but there's something really unsexy about me being like, swell penis! <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, let's bring Liam back up. I've been Will Atwood. Thank you very much.